A model rocket is launched with a very rapid engine burst. The engine cuts off quickly and the rocket is subject only to gravity after that. Ignore air resistance. At t equals zero, which we call height equals zero, it is heading straight up with an initial speed of 52 meters per second. We define up as the positive direction. Let's first draw a picture of what we are told. So here is our axis. This is the positive direction. Our model rocket is right here. Traveling up at 52 meters per second. which is also our initial velocity, so we'll call that V1. At time equals zero, the height is zero, so this point is time equals zero and H equals zero. The last piece of information is given when it says the rocket is subject only to gravity. So acceleration is only equal to the gravity since this is the positive direction pointing up, the, or the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Part A. Find the max altitude. The max altitude is at the point when the rocket keeps it's going up, and then all of a sudden it turns and then comes back down. So this point right here is will be the max altitude. In the problem they use H but I think it's easier if we use X because that is what all of the equations have position. So here X equals 0 and this one's X equals question mark. So the equation we will use in this problem is V1 squared plus 2a x2 minus x1 equals v2 squared. So we are trying to find x2. We're given everything else. v1 is 52, 52 squared plus 2 a is negative 9.8, x2 is what we're trying to find, and x1 is 0 because that's the starting position. So x2 minus 0 will just leave us with x2, and I'm going to drop the subscript just to make it easier to write. So x, that's what we're solving for. And v2, it will be the velocity when it reaches this x2 mark. So the velocity at this point, right there, is equal to zero because the rocket is going up, 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 and then it, and it stops for a very small moment in time and then comes back down. You can also think of this, that the tangent line at this point is a horizontal line, which is zero. So that is when, so the velocity equals zero. So when you do all of this math and solve for x, you get 138. I'm going to round to two significant figures. So that's 140, and units is meters. That is the max altitude that this rocket will go. Part B, find its altitude at one second. So now our time is equal to one, so let's use an equation that has time in it. We'll use x1 plus v1 times t time plus one half a t squared equals x2. So we're finding x2 in this problem, and we're given everything else. x1 is zero. V1, 52, time, one second, plus one half, A is negative 9.8, one 
squared is 1 equals x. And if you solve all of this, you'll get x equals 47.1, rounded to two sig figs is 47, and units is meters. Part C. Find velocity at 7 seconds. We use this equation, v1 plus a times t equals v2. And we are solving for v2. So v1, 52, plus a, negative 9.8, time is 7, equals v2. V2 will equal negative 16.6, not rounded as negative 17. And since we found velocity, the units is meters per second. And the velocity is negative. So we draw this again, going up and then down. So somewhere in this half of the motion is when it will be at seven seconds because this is when velocity is negative moving down because this is the positive direction. And part D. Find the altitude at 7 seconds. This is just like part B but with 7 instead of 1. We'll use the same equation as in part B. x1 plus v1 times t plus 1 half a t squared equals x2 we're solving for x2. x1 is 0. v1 is 52. Time is 7. Plus 1 half, negative 9.8. 7 squared equals x2. Solving for that, you'll get 123.9. And rounded to two sig figs is 120 and the units is meters because we are finding its altitude. And you can check your work going back to part A. The max altitude that it could reach is 140 meters so we know our answer has to be less than 140 meters.